Good morning, everyone, and happy Thanksgiving. Welcome to Activities for People Living at Home with Dementia. We are proud to offer this series with funding from the Area Agency on Aging and the United Way of Tarrant County. These programs are recorded and they're cute to rewatch and are made available for viewing through a YouTube channel for future use. I am Martha Brown, your host for today's activities. We are presenting today, Moving to Heal, brought to us by Emily Corbin. Now, Emily and the rest of us have been talking about stretching and getting our joints oiled for the holiday. Emily, I'm ready whenever you are, when you <laughs> pop back into the screen. Okay, good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, yeah. Hello, here I am. I popped back in. Um, give me a <laughs> moment to get music, get music going here. And we can, watch off. we can watch the cats until you do. Right. They are doing their own little warm up dance now. Um, Myra, what, Myra, what were you trying to say that I interrupted? No, I was telling Don he can take his shoes off. I already did. Oh, that's right. Well, yes. excuse me. Yay. <laughs> Yay. All right. Oh, I hear music. Yes, yes, you do. <sighs> All right. We got music. We got <clears throat> us. Got music. Let's do this. Got music. All right. So yes, if you have not already taken your shoes off, I strongly encourage that. Feels really good to sense your feet on the floor before we get started. As that is the beginning, just like the baker who throws the flour on the board when they're about to bake some bread, we take off our shoes and sense from the ground up, right? So let's notice, right? What do you sense in your spine? What do you sense? coming from the bottoms of your feet and just allow yourself to kind of land here and then just for a moment we're going to get real still and take a breath in through the nose and sense that whisper in the back of your throat and then exhale just let it out through your mouth sense that release. Good. We'll do that one more time. And then the rest of our breath will go in and out through the nose. So as we're beginning to warm up, let's find some movement in our fingertips. So here at first, just touching the fingertips to the thumb, yeah, it's like you're playing the music here, good. And then from there, let's start to let those movements grow into these creepy crawler movements with the fingers. And you guys see me, I can hardly keep still with my spine. My spine just wants to do this too, right? But just for now, I'm gonna ask it to stay, stay and let the movement come from the fingers. Yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> and then the wrist. So just dancing your wrist. And continuing to breathe in and out. Maybe taking some circles of the wrist. And then the elbows. Right? What do the elbows want to do? And then let's take some circles with the feet. So you can lift your heels and rock onto the edges of your feet. Yeah. And then go the other way, rocking onto the edges of your feet. Good, inhale, let's take the arms up. Find that creepy crawler movement. Arms are way up overhead. Let your shoulders drop, yes. Keep the arms up. Find a sway. Then go nice and slow. Sway and sway. So soften all of your joints here. 
So it's almost like your arms are floating in space above the head and they are reaching up long, but they're not tight or constricted near the joints. And start to bring the arms down in front, moving space in front of your face and body. Good. And now take the arms back up, creepy crawler fingers as you reach and breathe in. Stay here and take them down the same way you went up. Palms go down as well. Good. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, they go up. Still in the lower body for now. Good. arms are down by the side, swaying the shoulders forward. So wave-like movement in the arms, almost like brushing the space in front and behind. Keep breathing and sense this movement originating in your spine. That's where all of your strength and stability here originate. Good. Inhale, arms come up. And then we sway real big. Take your legs wider for more stability. Keep the feet grounded. Nice. Look where you sway. Let's do it again. Up. And sway all the way down as much space as you can. Nice. It's going to get a little smaller. Back up again. Way down. Nice. So soften up your shoulder joints. Just kind of let your heavy bones shake a little bit. Like we need a touch of volume on this one. What do you guys think? Touch of volume? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Oliver says yes, volume. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so I use the imagery of a bubble the last time we did this song, right? And we talked about Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and how the kids who Grandpa and Charlie, when they eat the or drink the bubble drink, they start floating, <laughs> floating. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do here. And you'll start to hear that kind of bubbling in the music. Nice. So letting your arms and legs kind of get carried up into space with this bubble. And you may not be quite sure where it's gonna go, right? Woo! Yeah, have some fun with it. Nice, keep going. we're going to add some structure, right? So coming back to this heated place, kind of our home base, right? So taking web spaces between your fingers and taking a deliberate step with the right side, yeah? So right side and reaching up. Good. So take the step when you reach. Step. Step. Other side. Step. Step. Keep going. Last one. 
And then back to that unpredictable bubble. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Maybe the bubbles get smaller. Good. Nice. Float your joints. Sense the core stability helping you. Good. Good. A few more this way. And then making shapes in space. Shape, 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 shape. So what's happening with your feet? I feel like right now, there's a little drum beat happening with the feet. So can we drum beat with the feet while we do something very flowy. Or we can soft. try. <laughs> yeah, we can try. <laughs> I'm glad we're in a chair. <laughs> yeah. Explore the space around you with your arms as you ground down through your beats. Nice. Now we're just going to take right arm, so let your feet be still. The right hand, you don't know where it's going to go, but you're going to follow it with your eyes. It's a softer, more fluid movement. And it could go behind you. It could go underneath. It could go across your body. And then the left arm, where's it gonna go? And you're just allowing it and watching it with your eyes. And then coming back to the center. Good. So take the feet about the distance of your hips. Yeah. Get nice and tall through your spine. Yeah. And then let's just connect to the beat. Good. So I'm lifting heels. And we call this a squish walk in Nia. And there's a very deliberate switch, switch. When I was doing it faster, right, I can't quite get as good of a squish. So we're gonna slow it down right here. Here we go. Squish, squish. Almost like you're juicing an orange under your heel. And I'm gonna give it a little extra exhale. That's gonna get more energy flowing through the movement. Ha, good. Ha, 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 ha. Three, two, one. And now I'm gonna go faster, right? So it looks the same with the heels. They're squishing a little more casually. They're moving a little faster. Nice. And the elbows dance side to side. Can you look where your elbows move? Right, so if that makes you dizzy, because we are going side to side pretty fast, you can just land. You don't have to turn your head. Nice. And then here in a sec, we're going to bring it back towards the center. I'll let you know when. 
Hello. I'm here. <laughs> nice. Let's sit back in our chair. Take a little breather just for a sec. Ah. We're going to stretch out the heels. Yes. Press. 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 Good job. Two. Three. Four. Bring your feet back to the floor. And now we're going to press with our shoulders. Walk it forward and then back. Your own tempo and timing. So when you get to the front, as far as you want to go, you go back. When you get back, move forward again. Almost like you're shaking something off there when you move to the front. Keep the feet grounded. Notice the belly stabilizing you. Good. Let's take it back up. So we're incorporating that push walk and that shoulder movement. Yeah. Nice. Okay, we're gonna add in one, two, one, two, three. You can do it. One, two, one, two, three. So it's this stop, start, and then slow a little bit. You got it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah. And you can make a little shape in between the pause, the pause. Yes. Pause and pause. Yeah. <laughs> Any way you do it, it's perfect. Good. Coming back to center, shake the shoulders forward. And back. Lean back, but use the belly forward, yes. And back. And sit tall in your chair, reach your arms up. Shake your fit up high. It's a loose fit, yeah? You got something magical in there you wanna hang on to. Nice. Keep shaking. Keep shaking. Keep shaking. If they move, they'll melt the magic beam. Soft fist. Soft fist. Good, good. Oh, okay, we get to relax now. Let your hands come to your thighs. Take a deep breath in and out. So remember the fast and slow, the stop and start. You get that in this music. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, you hear that? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's do it. So we're gonna practice first a downward strike, right arm. So there's this kind of pulling back and preparing in order to connect to the power, right? Ha, ha. The heel of the hand strikes, the fingertips are pulled in. Good. Good. Ha. Good. We're switching. Other side. So when I draw my torso away and use that energy to spiral in, I have more power in the strike. Good. Good. It's like you're hammering a nail with the heel of your hand. 
Good. And now soften up. There's this, oh, very lighthearted, whimsical kind of oh, letting stuff go, right? All that hammer energy. We're just letting it go. Nice. So coming back to the center, punching out or outward strike. So it's that energy of ha ha, yeah. Ha, fast, slow. Okay, so you have one side that you're probably doing the fast on and one that you're doing the slow on. We gotta switch it. Oh. Yeah. So start with the slow. Ha. And then pull it back. Ha. Yeah. Slow. Ha. Ha. You got it. Nice. Now keep this arm out. waving, hello, and then pull it back in at the ready position, really pulling it into your side, good. Same thing, push out left hand now, sway the body, keep the arm out straight. So it's almost like you're using the rotation of the spine and the rib cage to move the arm and the arm is just kind of along for the ride. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And then bring it back towards the center. Can we shake that out a little bit? Yeah. Let's tap out our feet as well. Shake out the wrists. Shake out the feet. Good. So taking this kind of bow stance with the feet, I take one foot flat on the floor and I take the ball of the other foot behind. So if I was standing, it would look a little like this, yeah? But since I'm sitting, the chair version, yeah? So we're gonna wipe the slate clean. One, we go to the other side. Good. So notice how the spine just naturally wants to undulate and help you wipe your slate clean. Yeah. Feel the stability in the two feet on the floor, right? So we're really working with a stance here, even though we're seated. Nice. And bring it back to the center. So palm direction, right? We worked with a palm direction here. We've worked with palm directions this way and this way, yeah? So let's come back up and then they go out and down. Good. So heel of the hand pushes up and down at the same time and then come through the center and other side. Good. Feel the triceps really engaging right at the very end. Keep going. So you're passing through the center. Squeeze the triceps right there. Squeeze the triceps. Squeeze right there. You got it. Nice. We've got four more. Three, yeah. Last one. Nice. Shake out the wrist. Let's take out the right foot. And the left. Nice. 
check out both feet. So remember when we did that warm up move where we rolled on the ball of the foot and then around the edge, we just did it on one foot at a time. We're gonna do that with all of our feet. We call this rock around the clock in Nia. So if I did it standing up, it would look like I am carefully rolling 360 degrees. So we can do that seated, wow. right? We can do that seated and we're just waking up all of the bits and pieces of the feet. Now your feet are bare, so connect the sensation. Let's go slow. If you've already gone both directions, then keep doing that. And if you just went one way, go the other way. And notice it's so different going the other direction. Okay but all parts of your feet have to be engaged here. Good. Can we come back to our bow stance and our wiping the plate? Nice, other side. <laughs> yes, noodles, yes. <laughs> involved. I know. I'm so happy. Coming back to the center, we're going to take a little challenge here. You do you, right? We're going to go one side, other side. So there's this pivot, right? It doesn't have to be big. It could be here, right? Or it can be here, right? So there are all kinds of levels. Nice. Nice. Let's play with cat stance, shall we? What do you think? Cat stance, we're getting called to do that a little bit, yeah? <laughs> so cat stance, you've got one foot planted firmly, right? Nice and strong through your core. Lift up through the opposite leg and you're floating that knee up, right? Nice. And then let your hands come out like little balancing weights and your middle finger points down. And we're just gonna play with, yes, like there's a paintbrush at the tip of your toes. Nice. And then hang just for a moment and let it go. Oh. Let's do the other side, shall we? Ground through the opposite foot. Lift through the knee, let it float. Your foot float. Engage the belly. Yeah. And then let those fingers be your weight, reminding you where the middle is. Nice. <laughs> Play with this face. Brushing this face. Nice. And bring it back to the center. Let's inhale, reach our arms up overhead. We're just gonna interlace the fingers above the head. Bend your elbows just a little bit here. Yeah, okay, now straighten them and lift through your hands. Let your shoulders drop away from your ears. Let your chin relax. In fact, open your mouth a little bit. Uh, okay. And just keep that softness in your mouth. So you're pulling up, reaching up, and simultaneously drawing the shoulders down and together. Good, so there's tension. Good, now relax, the arms float down. So you'll feel a lot of sensation. The more pressure you are applying there, you'll feel a lot of sensation in your arms. Let your fingers wiggle by your side. 
We'll inhale, take the arms up again. Opposite thumb goes on top this time. Might feel a little weird. Okay, there we go. And then same thing, we're gonna lift, reaching that clasp, finger, hand up, letting the shoulders drop away from the ears and finding that place of beautiful tension, right? Between the reaching, lifting, and the grounding of your heart space here. Nice. Soften as you exhale. And then just let your shoulders be fluid. Good. Taking the legs a little bit wider here. Reaching all the way out to the right side of the room. Wiggle your fingers. So the whole right arm is very um, strong and stable here, but then the fingers are just having a ball, right? Now close your eyes and just sense your fingers moving there. Now stop moving your fingers and keep sensing them moving. And then soften your arm down by your body. Same thing left side. So the left arm reaches out, the fingers wiggling and the arms nice and stable. Fingers having a ball. Maybe they're playing this piano. And then soften the arm back down. Nice. Soften it back down. You're having a ball too, aren't you? We're going to come to a figure four stretch or a pigeon stretch. So getting comfortable in your seat and then crossing one ankle over the other knee. So sitting with your legs crossed casually. Um, and then from there, get as tall as you can. So some of you may be on the edge of your seat and some may be just enjoying the stability of the back of a chair. Either way, it's great. And we're gonna play with dancing the spine here. So this undulation the spine can take as we reach up and forward with the chin and then let the chin drop as we start to come back up. So we're gonna play with that. And when I say play, I just mean you've got the basic foundation here and then you make it look like you all right so move into all the edges of the body within the structure of this what feels good it could mean shifting your weight a little bit here and there could mean pausing and taking a deeper breath. Just make sure to keep your spine long. Even if your spine is undulating, we're keeping it long, keeping lots of space. Nice. And then let's come back to the form with the upper body as well, getting nice and tall. And then hinging forward as much as you're comfortable. When you feel that extra special stretch in your hips, our tendency can be to sort of back away and hold the breath. And instead, we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna lean in and breathe more. So when you see that tension building, feeling the intensity of the stretch. It's gonna lean into that intensity a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
one more like that. Good, and then drawing yourself back up to neutral. You can use an inhale breath to come to neutral and uncross the legs. And then an exhale to ground the foot back down. Just take a breath here in the middle before you move to the other side. Those little moments of letting the body integrate are so critical. And now we'll take the other side. So grounding down your opposite foot, lifting the other leg and crossing it over. Tall through the spine. And then this time, instead of playing with reaching the chin up and forward, we'll play with reaching the chin down. And then the crown of the head reaches forward, right? So. It looks more like this instead of like this. Yeah. So letting go of the look like once you get that form and coming back into the, how does it feel? And how do you make it yours? Where do you notice you want to kind of hang out for a minute. Ooh, I want to hang out right here. And take a breath. Where do you want to shift a little one way? And wherever you notice your tendency to kind of back away because it feels intense. We're gonna soften and breathe. And know the only way through is through. You get through with the breath. Coming back to the structure of the strong spine all and lifted. It was strong the whole time. It's just a little more structured now. And then that hinging forward. So if I have to arch my back in order to get a deeper stretch in the hip, it's a little counterproductive, right? I'm working against myself. I want to keep the back nice and straight. Press the foot on the floor more into the floor as you hinge yourself. Right, then grounding your feet in the chair. Nice. When you're ready, use an inhale breath to come back up and uncross the leg. Use an exhale breath to ground that left foot back to the floor. And then we're just gonna take the elbows right into the hips and let them fall open a little bit as we hinge forward. So you can keep your feet grounded or you can let them roll to the edges just a touch. Just let yourself breathe into the inner thighs here. And then allowing yourself to let the rise up to the center be a dance. So you can dance your spine and your shoulders as you rise back up. Yeah. We'll inhale, take the arms out and exhale, big hug. So with this hug, there's a moment of gratitude. Let's let this gratitude be about the body. Okay, thank you, body. Thank you for healing all the time I'm alive. 
Inhale, we'll take the arms back out. Reach the elbows even further back, even further, like you're gonna hug a big tree. And then exhale, take the arms across the body, the opposite arm on top this time. Big hug. Another moment of gratitude. So let's allow this moment of gratitude to be for something external, anything, anyone, any place, any experience. And then when you're ready, just soften your arms. Take the palms to the thighs. Fall through your spine. And let's take our hands into our heart. Grateful for each other, for this body that moves us, and for this experience. Let's inhale to clear the space. And exhale, just throw it out. <sighs> Whatever you gathered, let's do it again. Inhale. Clear the space. We don't need this stuff. We're grateful for all the rest. Inhale. Clear the space. Last time. <sighs> you got it. Let's quiet down. Music, shall we? Yay. Yay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. I, yes. must, I must share that the hug I was feeling was for all three of you. Oh, oh thank you, Martha. Thank you. Yes. I yes. am not alone today. <laughs> nope. It's so true, Martha. You're not. Yes. You're not. I'm, I'm grateful for y'all. Well, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Yes. I now Thank feel you. oiled. <laughs> That's right. Well-oiled machines we are. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes. Well, let's take a little peek at what's coming up Friday. So you were sharing music, and let's see if I'm sharing now. Do y'all see yep. purple? Yes. yes. Okay, there's Emily. Tomorrow is Glenn McLaughlin duo Western Swing. He may have his sister with the accordion. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> Fun. Different than today, that's certain. Yes. <laughs> Thank a you, different everybody. flavor. A, yes, a different flavor. I'm, I'm grateful for all of you. I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank, Thank you, you too, Martha. Yes. Thank you, Martha. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. 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 Thank, Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Emily. You're welcome.